using the Epson ELP DC21 dock cam as a webcam. COVID-19 has forced many of us at Georgia Southern to rethink how we deliver instruction. Many of our classrooms have been set up for multimedia presentation for a long time. Now we need to expand those capabilities to include synchronous remote instruction as well as in-person instruction from those classrooms. The document cameras that are found in most of our classrooms are Epson Model ELPDC21. This video will show you how to set up and use the Epson camera for your Zoom classes. Let's review the parts of the document camera. Here's an overall view of the entire unit. The base contains all the controls for operating the camera. The arm is articulated to swivel and bend in much the same way as a human arm. The head contains the camera and it can rotate nearly 360 degrees. Be careful when moving the arms of the camera to avoid exceeding the limits of its swivels and hinges. To begin using the Epson document camera as a webcam, lift the camera head and extend the arm upward until it is about eye level. This is not a hard and fast rule. The camera should be at a level where the arm can be swiveled to point in the right direction and with the correct orientation. Rotate the camera in the direction of the speaker, making sure that the camera is vertical, that is, that the swivel connecting the camera to the arm is directly below the camera. Once the camera has been rotated in the direction of where the lecturer will stand, press the power button on top of the base unit. The unit will perform internal tests before being ready to use. When the sounds of the testing can no longer be heard, you are ready to start using the camera. In document mode, the camera image has an orientation 180 degrees opposite of how we will use it as a webcam, making it necessary to rotate the image. There are several ways we can do this, but the easiest is to use the Rotate Image feature of Zoom. You may now start a new meeting or an existing planned meeting in Zoom. On the main screen, there are a number of controls along the bottom ribbon. At the far left is the Audio Control button. Just to the right of that is the Video Control button. There is a small arrow just to the right of the video control button. Clicking this button will open the video options. In the small pop-up window that appears, you will see a link for video settings. Click it. The settings window will open with video settings highlighted. Click video settings. On the right side of the settings screen is the image as seen by the camera, along with several other options at the bottom. In the upper right corner of the image is the Rotate 90 Degrees control. Click the control twice to rotate the screen to the proper orientation. You may now close the settings window and begin using Zoom for your class.